Hi, I'm Claire Murphy from the 5AA Newsroom. It's Friday, December 2nd, and this is The Week That Was. The fight between reality star Kim Kardashian and her soon-to-be ex-husband has fired up again. Chris Humphreys has filed for an annulment saying Kim Kardashian married him fraudulently. She's hit back saying that's not true, that she really did love him and it just ended quickly. He's fighting for her to pay his legal fees. Still on the Kardashians and one of the sisters, Courtney, has announced that she is pregnant again. She already has a two-year-old son, Mason. So what do Australian federal politicians get for Christmas? Apparently, a big fat pay rise. The PM's going to be earning nearly $470,000 a year when she gets her 90 grand rise. Opposition leader Tony Abbott also gets a cool $74,000, bringing him up to $333,000 per annum. The backbenchers all get 40 grand apiece, and even the new speaker, Peter Slipper, will earn himself an extra $70,000. It really is the end of an era for the SA Labor Party with former Treasurer and former Deputy Premier Kevin Foley announcing he's going to be quitting politics. He is still overseas on a trip to Bali at the moment but will make the formal announcement when he returns home. His seat of Port Adelaide is now up for grabs. The man found guilty of manslaughter in the death of Michael Jackson received his sentence this week. Dr Conrad Murray was slapped with the full term of four years, but with overcrowding in US prisons, they're expecting him to serve around two. With summer arriving this week, we got an early reminder of what we can expect with temperatures rising. A fire broke out in Port Augusta with strong winds pushing the flames towards a school, homes and a kindy. Hundreds were evacuated. Luckily, there was no damage to property. A second fire on the same day broke out near Gladstone with crews working overnight to bring it under control. A routine traffic stop did not end well for a patrol on Hanson Road. They tried to stop the Nissan, which had six people inside, but it sped off. It ended up crashing into a delivery van at the intersection of South Road and Torrens Road. The van flipped on its side and slammed into a palm tree. Luckily, the driver was not seriously hurt. However, two teenagers from the unregistered Nissan were taken to hospital with serious head injuries. A Qantas pilot is in some serious hot water this week after some seriously hot action on board a flight from London to Sydney. Complaints started rolling in from fellow passengers and crew when the pilot, who was not in uniform at the time and not flying the plane, sat on a fellow female passenger's lap and started to get hot and heavy. He did eventually move to another seat when the complaints did start to roll in. He is facing disciplinary action from the airline. A terrible end to a relationship gone wrong in Walkley Heights. A 16-year-old girl was walking to the bus stop when she was confronted by her ex-boyfriend at the intersection of RM Williams Drive and Blacksmith Avenue. He shot her and then turned the gun on himself. It turns out that they had had a violent relationship which she had ended recently. She was taken to hospital but did not survive. Federal Treasurer Wayne Swan gave us the mid-financial year budget update this week. He has promised that we will definitely be back in budget surplus by 2012-2013. However, that surplus is looking a little slimmer than when he announced it back in May. Mr Swan saying it's due to the economic crisis happening overseas. An Aussie teen on schoolies in Bali was killed this week when he touched a faulty neon sign outside a nightclub in Kuta. His mates tried to revive him but were unsuccessful. Jake Flannery had just graduated from Gosford High School and was celebrating with his friends. Police in Indonesia made his mates reenact the electrocution on the site. His parents have flown to Bali to bring him home. For more on the stories that you've seen here today, you can check them out online at 5AA.com.au. But for more news as it happens, make sure you keep listening to 1395 Adelaide's 5AA.